What's going on guys? Kaiser's here, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. Um, if you've seen the last episode, we got through Kamashita's palace. We discovered that um, he has been physically abusing his slaves that were captured there. And we have now... Or I should say, we came back into the real world and we have to uncover Kamoshida's abuses. And also, Ryuji awoken to his persona, Captain Kid. So now that's the three of us. Um, us, Morgana, and Ryuji. So yeah. And today we're just gonna see what next couple days have for us. So without further ado, let's get into it. Er, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I meant lost my train of thought. Um, real quick before this, we get started, um, I just want to let y'all know that I'm going to go back to doing longer videos. The uh, reason I'm saying that is because it's getting kind of hard to like make it short because I feel like if I edit stuff out, there's going to be really important information that you're going to miss when it comes to the story. So, I'm going to make them longer again, and, uh, you know, offer more gameplay and story to all of y'all. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. And, um, you know the usual. Uh, let's try, for this video, if this video gets, like, 50 likes, because... I set the bar too high the last two episodes, so... Yeah, if this video gets like 50 likes, I'll greatly appreciate it, because I know you guys are enjoying the series, and I've been seeing it in the comments, too, that, um, you guys are enjoying it. So, yeah, thank you very much for all the support you guys have been showing me, and, um, that's pretty much it, and I'm just grateful that you guys are falling in love with this game, because... This is by far the best game I've ever played. So, yeah. Enough of the rambling, let's just go to sleep. Hey, it's our boy Ryuji. That thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Yep, it sure was. We ended up at that weird place when we used the nav app, right? I found it on my phone, too. I don't even remember installing it. Yeah. <laughs> didn't install it, nor... Or it wasn't in our control, really. For real, what is this thing? I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow. It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is. But with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Yeah, seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta evidence... Or we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, all right? Don't go ditching school on me. Why would I ditch school? You know? <laughs> I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of the metaverse. Yeah, I'd be exhausted too. I mean, have you seen my last episode? Got my ass handed to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? It's alright. Don't be stupid, jeez. <laughs> ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Mm, we sure do. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, haven't you? You sure did. Saw Ryuji Cap Captain Kid. Yeah, you mean Ryuji. Yep. Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. 
You've done well. Thank you. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You ain't gotta do me like that, Caroline. Come on. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Confidants are people you, er, you trust who share a similar goal. You can find these people in plan er, Oh my goodness. Places like school or around town. I thought that said palaces. Um, goes to show we still can't read. Try forming bonds with people by visiting them multiple times, earning their trust, and proving your value. Once you have formed a bond, you can open the menu with the triangle button and select Confidants to check the strength of your relationships. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> We have a deal, then. Feels like Igor has high expectations for... Yeah, for me. I'm just gonna accept it at this point. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fool persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright. Prison Master Confidant. The Fool. Wild Talk. Allows you to negotiate with shadows after performing a holdup. Arcana Burst. Earn bonus experience when fusing personas based on their Arcana's Confidant rank. All right. You've unlocked Fool Confidant, and you've learned the ability to wild talk from Igor. An Arcana Burst. Nice. <clears throat> People you have formed a bond with have special Confidant abilities. Your Confidant rank indicates the strength of your trust with someone. As this rank increases, more of their Confidant abilities will be unlocked. Press the triangle button to open the menu and select Confidants. From there, you can check each Confidant's Arcana, Rank, and Abilities. Well, you will understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. I forgot how harsh they were. <laughs> to freaking Joker in the beginning. It's always funny. Okay, quiet down. Oh, look who it is. Miss Kawakami. Okay, listen up, everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed. Got it? Out. Hasn't 
change to bed. Hmm? Uh, pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that saw. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. I'll spike the shit out of him. Asshole's acting like he's a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. And how he acted like he was worried about Mishima? What an er, abusive D-bag. Well, anyways. Now's our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Yeah, let's see where he's going, that way we can split up. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh. But you're kind of in the same boat, huh? You can now move around the map using the R1 button. You can now quick travel by bringing up the map with the R1 button and selecting the location you want to move to. Nice. So let's do that. volleyball player like that isn't obvious enough oh my god what are you skipping out on the volleyball rally I guess I expect it from you transfer hey that's the guy who was over at the castle you two Sakamoto what do you guys want yeah how did you get injured it's from practice what does that have to do with anything Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida is abusing you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Forgot how blunt the options are. Like, just you're a coward. <laughs> Damn it! Oh my god. I'm not. You guys are just talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof? Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. Alright, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Yeah, he ain't talking. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Let's split up, make cover more ground. Guess that'd be faster. Exactly. Oh, I skipped a line. Oh well. 
He's the third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C. Third year classrooms are on the first floor. He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if you find anything. See ya! Alright, first floor. transfer student in your class and is everyone oblivious <laughs> like she's staring right at him uh... I know I hate rumors already but they're only getting more and more complex as time goes on mm -hmm. I wonder if he's all right I hope he's not letting it get to him too much it's just like you she ho always worrying about other people before yourself yeah kind of like when you were there for me something to say? Let's see, how you get hurt? Uh... From practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamashita, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course, our practices are going to be tough. Mr. Kamashita is just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. Sure, it's not abuse. Uh -huh. As if. Look, you can see the stutter in the sentence. You know he's lying. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? Yeah, because I'm um, definitely the kind of person to lash out. I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? He refused. Him too. Man, everyone's too freaked out about Kamashita. But I still got a lead. A first year. New member. He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamashita's web of bullshit yet. Pretty sure he's in class 1B. Try the first year classrooms. They're up on the third floor. Give you messages you have received by pressing the square button. 50 most recent chat threads will be saved. Old chats will be automatically deleted, so don't forget to read them. I yeah, definitely don't want to miss anything important, so we'll read all of them. Alright, 1B. 1B. Yeah, he's, he's Is it 1B? There he is. Huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? injuries. Uh, oh, these? It, it, uh, it happened during practice. I mean, everyone on the team's got injuries like this. Shima Senpai has it especially bad, though. He gets to deal with Mr. Kamoshida's special coaching. Oh, oh, uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Special coaching, yeah. Sounds like a personal beatdown or something. I can't do it! Please, just stop talking to me. Ask it, or ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Damn it. We're out of time. How'd it go? Take a while, guess. Well, we did find something on Mishima. either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Yep, we'll see you there. Can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? 
There's that weird rumor about you two. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Nice of Anne to care Why about she us. gotta be so aggressive all the time? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Yo, Mishima. Emphysema. <laughs> huh? Special coaching, huh? Mm -hmm. True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves, then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you, too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. Hmm. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Hmm. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Relax, Ryuji. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? I want to say you have an amazing spike. So bad. Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious, after all. That's your own goddamn fault. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents. They all know, and they all keep quiet about it. How the hell does your parents freaking keep quiet? I know I wouldn't if I had my kid getting physically abused. This has gotta be a joke. Don't be 
be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Back after a long day. <sighs> Tired from all the stuff that happened today. I think I should head to sleep soon. doesn't make any damn sense. The principal and even the parents know about the abuse. Why ain't anybody speaking up? Hmm. I wouldn't be afraid. I think it's just because of volleyball. Yeah. It's basically because Kamoshida made the volleyball team famous, yeah? Even so, then don't give him the right to do whatever he wants. He's beating kids up, and all they're allowed to do is endure. And that follower of his doesn't give one single shit. Yeah, what follower are you referring to? Mishima? Oh, and Takamaki. You met her in the courtyard, remember? You should know her. I mean, she's in your class, dude. Ugh, what a load of bull. I can't let it end like this. I'm gonna try to find someone who knows about what's going on with Kamashita during break tomorrow. Just you watch. I ain't giving up. Yeah, you do you. Yeah. You do you, Ryuji. You do you. something out of Takamaki. Since she's... Yeah, definitely. Oh, well, that was wrong. No, that ain't why. Just hear me out. You know how we didn't get a thing out of the volleyball team? Nah. Excuse me, that's... <coughs> something stuck in my throat. I figured it'd be a good idea to talk to someone who knows them. Takamaki's BFF with a starter girl named Suzui. I tried to talk to that girl during break, but I got nothing. That's why we should have Takamaki talk to her. Then again, I guess it'll be hard getting her to help us. Sorry. Let me see what else I can come up with. Yeah, Ryuji's trying his best to figure out what we could do. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. Every damn time, dude, that picture, and you can see the bruise on her head. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Yeah, if by practice you mean freaking Kamashita punching her right in the temple. Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job, I think. I should get going. Shiho. Are you sure you're okay? Uh-huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm... I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey! 
Wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. D? Yep. I wish I am. Um, this might not be of any my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Yeah, they don't... they don't bother me at all. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. My best friend is often misunderstood, too, all because of her looks. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to drag you on like that. Then I'll... Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Be easy, Shiho. Damn it! What the hell? <sighs> Is that what it looks like? Yep. All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told them something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. Hmm. Let's go with this one. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Call the cops. We can't call them without evidence. And plus, if we get involved, we get, might get in trouble. So, sneak attack. Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? There we go. The third option. Punish the king. The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something. I don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking?! I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? Oh my god. Just read that sentence again and then just look at Ryuji's face. Does that mean you've got a phone? <laughs> you don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this too? Yep. Word for word. <laughs> Meow. That's what everyone else is hearing. And it really is Morgana. You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. 
You were still doubting me? Quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Just yanked him by the collar. Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. No choice? I would have done it in a heartbeat. There's no other way. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love. Those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? You have to risk it. If it's to change his corrupted desires, we have to risk it. For real? Yes, for real. Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point! If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida! <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it! I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here.
doesn't know it yet, but that is our only option. There's nothing left for me to do today. I should go straight home. Hey, I heard something that got my attention. About that Suzui girl. Looks like the rumors are going around about her and Kamoshida. If they're true, it's no wonder I couldn't get her to talk. Still, something about that doesn't seem right. What are you talking about? It's just impossible. I've known Takamaki and Suzui since middle school. There's just no way Kamoshida's their type, you know? So, I gotta wonder where those rumors came from. Well, whatever. I'll try asking someone around here. Will you please give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, <sighs> Shiho's starting position. Wait. Are you listening? Not on purpose. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for filling me in. Haven't you heard of privacy? You're two feet away from me. It's not like I can't not hear it. Uh, no, I was out of line. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Cry. So, how much did you hear? Something about, yeah. About she -ho. she -ho. Yep. It's nothing at all. Nothing. Look, you can see the tear right there. Just tell me. Let me help. Nope. And. Come back. Wonder what happened. Can't be her. And come back. Come back in. Can't go. Oh yeah, you can't go down an upward moving escalator. following me. Just leave me alone. Yeah, I can't. No. Why? Why do you keep worrying about me? Because you're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. Let's go somewhere safe. What the heck? I really don't get you. You're on the verge of tears, Anne. Come on. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Don't lie. It seems like she's really stressed out. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. And that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. You know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, she was my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. It is 
very much my problem. And you saw that gaze in his eyes, too. What? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. So weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Well, I can't see how, you know. Are you really a bad person, as the rumor says? You just don't seem like it. Yeah, well, rumors. Uh, that you assaulted someone. That you almost killed them. forced him away from a woman and he fell. Kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Komoshida. Well, thanks. No problem, man. Your secret's safe with us. Suzui. Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamashita's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. you been? Trains were delayed. Some thug was... Hmm. Trains were delayed. Don't give me those lies. By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Looks you made a friend. Ryuji. Oh. Huh. They've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful around who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. <sighs> Look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future. Try not to come back so damn late, understood? Yep. We understand. So, what do you think about what Magana told us? I don't know if I get all the... Sorry about that talking with my brother. Uh, let's see. Sure. I mean, maybe I'm just freaking out, but I don't want to end up a murderer because of this shit. Oh well. I'll try and see if I can come up with some other way tonight. I should write something. Yeah, 
you have fun with that, Ryuji. Because I gotta go to sleep. I wish I could help, but I'm stuck to sleep in here. Stealing Kamoshita's distorted desires. Can we really do it? Anyway, I should get some sleep. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. How'd you get in our desk? Hmm, did I just hear a cat just now? Mm, mm, meow! Hmm, could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. It's no use. Can't think of any other way. It's, yeah, how are you? Training class. Can't deal with that shit right now. I mean, what are we gonna do about Kamashita? Do we just gotta go along with that cat says? Ugh, that damn furball. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. Hey, what's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats. Do not step foot outside of this room. No way. Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui. Shiho Suzui. Huh? Suzui, hey, son. Let's go look. going on? We should head to the courtyard, too. Yeah, I'm right behind you. There we go. Class is still in session. Shio. What the hell's wrong with these people? Yeah, why the hell are y'all taking pictures? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go! Please hurry! Shio... Why... Mon... I'm sorry. I... Can't take this... Anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Huh. No! Shio! Piece of shit, I swear. This one, this right here, ticked me off so badly. Return to your classrooms at once! Huh. That guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? Damn right he was. We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. 
Ah, that hurts. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself. Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. And yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been worse than usual. He didn't. That son of a bitch! Uh. Hole. I bet Sakamoto, or yeah, Sakamoto is going to find Mr. Kamashita. V P E faculty office is on the third. Yeah, because that's what it says. The P E faculty office is on the second floor. Yep, we gotta go after him. Ryuji, don't throw hands, please. to the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after him. Yep, yeah, don't swing, Ryuji. Don't swing! Huh? You bastard! The hell did you do to that girl? What are you talking about? Don't! Play dumb with me! That is enough! What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You... You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You dickhead. You goddamn... This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? It ain't worth it. But still! Oh? You're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! 
We have that. Huh? Have you lost your minds? I don't understand what garbage like you are thinking, but go ahead and try. All you can do is wait for your disposal, though. I fucking hate his guts. We can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? Agree 100%. Then it's settled. Fuck him. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! That was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope that she doesn't torment herself over this. When it comes down to it, women don't hesitate. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already. <sighs> the moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Huh? Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. Love that name. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell does all this work? Does someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but, uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? The name... school? Huh? Uh-oh. Accidentally took her with us. All right, time to bust on through. What is this? Sakamaki? That voice, Sakamoto? And are you? Mm hmm. Why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? Swear to God. I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god! It's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. 
That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? Yeah, I feel bad. She need more. Well, yeah, I'll feel bad. We can't deal with Kamoshida if we don't. Yeah, but she can help us out. What are you? We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. <laughs> ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. <sighs> we gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right. Let's go nab this treasure thing. Well, in Phantom Thief form, you can dash by holding the R2 button as you move around. This will help you traverse the palace quickly, but be careful. While dashing, you'll be more easily spotted by enemies. As much as I want to infiltrate the castle, I'm afraid I gotta end it right here. So, yeah. Um, if you stalk... Er... <laughs> If you stalked all the way to the end, if you watched all the way to the end, I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know what to do. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you're enjoying it. Um, what do you think of Kamashita now, after what he did to Shiho and Anne? He's an absolute dick, and I hate him for it. But yeah, enough with me hating him. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Subscribe if you are new, um, leave a like if you enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace.